Good morning, sixth graders. Good morning. Thank you. Buenos dias. All right. Good morning to the following students that decided to show up. Buenos dias. Uh, Blessing. Good morning, Carlton. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Denzel. Good morning. Buenos dias. Good morning, Isaiah F. Good morning, Jaden F. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Good morning, Jaden uh, F. And Jaden Smith. Good morning, Kiana. Good morning, Nas F. Good morning, Yadiel. Good morning, Yerleni. Okay, so good morning to the 13 students that decided to show up today. Quick reminder, if you have not submitted the work since July 6th, you'll meet the week of July 6th, the week of July 13th, and the week of July 20th. A lot of you guys haven't even responded to my emails or my Google Classroom, and I need that work in order for you to pass for Summer Academy to make up for quarter four. So if you don't turn the work in, I can't help you. Showing up is great because you earn a participation grade for showing up and keeping the camera on the entire class, but the other part is submitting that weekly packet to me. As you know now, we do everything every day on the computer, so there's no excuse why once I'm done teaching it, you can't hit share my email, and I get it right then and there. So it's an easy fix from here on in. So for the other two weeks, three weeks, I need that work. Am I understood? All right, let's get started for today's work. Okay, I'm showing up every day for you in the summertime because I want to help you out because I care. So the, the least you can do is at least turn in my work for me. Okay, because I make the effort to do it for you, to show up to help you, and your job now is to turn in what you, what you do, what we do together. That's your expectation. It's very simple and clear cut. All right, we're going to go over today's work. Let me see who's trying to get in now. Uh, yada, yada. So we have Jerickson now. So now we got 15. All right. Let's take it away. If I call your name, you better, one, have the camera on, and two, you're going to unmute yourself, okay? Um, let's start with, we're going to have Denzel start. Denzel, I'm going to help you out. Unmute yourself. We're going to read in English together. You're doing really good. Okay, Denzel, repeat after me. Learning target. Learning target. I can. I can. Generate. Generate. Or create. Or create. Equivalent. Equivalent. Expressions. Expressions by using by using a distributive property. The distributive property. Very good. And combining. I combining. Like terms. Like terms. Beautiful job. Good reading. Thank you for repeating after me. I appreciate that. Now next. Okay, Daniel Castillo, you're going to read the lesson notes. Daniel, unmute yourself and read the lesson notes. Am I talking to myself or am I talking to Daniel? Because I need to hear Daniel's lesson notes. Jaden, help him out. You'll earn your credit, Jaden. Just like um, Denzel learned his for reading the learning target. Get um, Jaden, read me the lesson notes all the way up to coefficient. Go. Oh, wait, let me go back. Sorry. Go ahead. Jaden, we can't hear you. Jaden Smith. Me? Yeah, can you read the lesson notes for me, sweetheart? Okay. Um, today we will review how to generate, create, equal, equivalent, equivalent expressions using the uh, dis use distributed. Is property. Okay, I'll help you out. Important and vocabulary words. One, expression. Go ahead. Read what it says for expression. Uh, massive. Expression. Huh? Phrase that contains operations, numbers, and or variables. Okay. So the next word after an expression, okay, an expression has no equal sign. It says a distributive property, I'm gonna help you out. You multiply the outside term by the inside term. So yesterday we used the box method, right? And we put together whatever had the same variables. That's a like term. And a term is number in front of the variable and a coefficient is the number in front. So looking here, we have two X. Two is the coefficient in blue because it's the number in front of the variable. 
the x, which is a letter, it represents an unknown amount. So x and y in this example are called variables. They represent the unknown amount that we want to find. Okay? The 9 is just constant because there's no variable. And your terms are 2x, 4y, and 9. Okay? They step separated by an addition, a subtraction, multiplication, or division sign. Let's look at number, page 2, number 1. Cyrus, I'm going to ask if you can just read me um, when you get a chance. If you can turn your camera on, please. If you can read me um, this uh, question with apples and bananas. I can't turn it on. Huh? I can't turn it on. Okay, can, so you can't read it, right? I can read it, but I can't. Okay, turn go ahead, go ahead. Just read it then. Don't, if you can't turn it on, you can't turn it on. Go ahead. What does it say? A typical question. A typical question is simplify 2a plus 2b plus 3a. If we think of a being apples and b being bananas, then we have the following situation. We can see that by combining the like objects, the above can be simplified to the five apples and three bananas, which in Algebra is 5a plus 3b. Okay, so let's just review what she just read, right? If you look at this picture, we have 2a. So they said a as apples. Manzanas, I think, right? I think. So dos, apples. Two apples, 2a, two apples. 3b, bananas, manzanas, right? Three bananas. You see the yellow bananas, like monkeys eat those. And then another three apples. When I can combine a like term, I am putting together what's the same. We have two apples and three apples. That gives me five apples. And then I add the three bananas because apples and bananas are fruits, but they are different fruits. Okay? So you can only combine something that's the same, that's like. Yes, they're fruits, but they're an apple and a banana. They're different ones. That's why you cannot add this and say A, A, B. That is not right. Now, when you look at problem one, you got to remember a few things. You got to remember that when there's no coefficient, I'm going to go back to page one for a sec. A coefficient is a number in front of the variable. So when there is no number in front, you have to put a one there. So P is the same as one P. Got to know that. Okay, so we're going to take our pencils and we're going to write one P, one R. We're going to put a one in front. Very important that when there is no coefficient, we have to put a one in front. I'm gonna write that note down in its box and you're gonna type this in your, or write this in your note, type it on the computer because, excuse me, remember everything now is computer. There's no more paper. When there is no coefficient, which is a number in, write this down, Type this up. The number in front of the variable. Okay, that's what that is. We write we write a one. So again, when there is no coefficient, and we're on page two for those that just came. We write a one in front of the variable. So P is the same as one P. Okay, R is the same as one R, and so on. R is the same as one R, and P is the same as one P. I like to put the one there so that when I'm adding or combining it, whether I'm adding or subtracting the, uh, the like terms, I remember to add or subtract that one, okay? But you don't have to put that there but you should get in that habit to do that so you can get the questions right. So, Denzel, how many P's are here? How many P's do you see? What? Uh, how many P's? Two. Two. So you're gonna write on the line, those. How many R's? 
How many R's? Uh, two. Good. How do I simplify this? 2P plus what? Um, Two P plus plus what? Three. Well, not three. We have. Two. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh no, now I gotta do it again. Oh man, I'm sorry, guys. I have to rewrite it. Hold on. So we had one, 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 and one. Okay, and we said when there's no coefficient, you put a one. So this was two here. The next one we had two, and then here we had, we have two P's and we have two R's. So we say two P plus two R. Oops, that's the expression. Okay, I'm gonna type the note up here. When there is no coefficient, which is, a number in front of the variable of, oh man, of the variable, we write a one. You must know that. Gotta write that down. So the simplified expression is 2p plus 2r. Very, very simple. And now I think we're at like 20 something students. We have 20 students exactly. So I want you to understand that because we're gonna be taking this skill and we're gonna be applying it to page three, uh, page three, four, five, six, and seven for today. Okay, you could only add or subtract if the variables are the same. That is why we have 2P plus 2R. This is not 4PR, no. Don't get into that trap. Okay, let's move on now to the next page. Again, if you came late, you're gonna have to go back and watch this on the video. Because we have to move on because we have a lot to do today, unfortunately. But I think we can get it done pretty quick. All right, here, we're doing the same thing. Okay, we are putting together what's the same. This is the same thing that Taris read to us. So example, 6A plus 2A. I have six apples and two apples, I get eight apples. 9M minus 4M, plus 18 minus three. We're gonna make a few corrections on this paper. 9M minus 4M gives me 5M. And 15 minus three give me, 18 minus three give me 15. Now, when you have an exponent, you're just gonna attach, that means add the exponent. So Jaden, what's 9M minus 8M on letter A? What do you think it is? Jaden, what's nine minus eight? One. one M or M. Here, I'm gonna show you. What we're gonna do on these kind of questions is when there's a lot of different variables, constants or terms, we're gonna put together what's the same first. So when you look at this question, we have 17P minus three P plus P. So I'm gonna take my pencil and remember, when there's no number, I'm going to write a one in front. Hold on, I'm working. But they were... Hey, what do you think it is? Somebody, somebody's um, excited. I'm going to write a one. So I'm going to put together all the P's. 17P minus 3P is how much? Come off mute if you know. No one knows what 17 means. 14P. Right. 14 plus one is how much, Leilani? Huh? 15. 15P. But now I gotta take care of nine plus five. I can put that together because they're just numbers. So nine plus five is how much? Somebody, I don't care who it is. Nobody knows nine plus five? 14. Right, there's your answer. 15P, because Leilani said 17 minus three is 14 plus one is 15P, and nine plus five, as Yadiel says, is 14. 
Okay, we're gonna do the same exact thing on the remainder of these problems. Remember, when there's no coefficient, you have to put a one there. So here there's a one Y. Yadiel, help me out. 58 plus 12 is how much? Yadiel? 70. Not 58 plus 12. Try again, Lorenzo. 51 plus 12. 63. Okay, 63. Now, is there any other Y's in this question? There's just a minus one Y, right? There's nothing else. So we're going to attach the one Y. But we can subtract 10 from 6. Lorenzo, 10 minus 6 is how much? 4. All right. There's your answer. Looking at the next problem, it's the same exact thing. When there's no a coefficient, guys, what number do we put in front? A one. Thank a you, one. whoever said that. Someone's paying attention. I think that was uh, Omar. I know Leilani, you know, because she just answered it. So we write a one and a one. Omar, mm -hmm. give me the new S's. We have one S plus one S plus eight S. How many S's are there? Um, 10. An S, keep going. And we're going to take... I'm going to help you out. Okay, so Omar, we're going to actually make a correction. We're going to take the red. We're going to take, I'm going to use, we're going to make this negative. This is going to now be a plus sign. Okay, so now this is, make this minus a plus sign. So now, Omar, what's 17 minus 5? Um, 12. There you go. 10s plus 12. Remember that minus after the s becomes a plus now. Now let's see if we can handle letter E. I'm sure we can. If you can see, I'm leveling it up. I'm layering up the levels of intensity. We've got 21 folks on today. Excellent. All right, when there's no coefficient, guys, what number do we put in front? A one. One, one. perfect. So we're gonna go one. And one. We're going to take care of only the F's first. How many F's do I see? Two. Two. How many B's do I see? Um. Four B and one B is how much? Um. Five B. How many R's are there? We have three R and two R. How many R's is that? Um. Two. Two plus three is two. No. No. What's two plus three? Five. Five. We only have a regular B here, but we have one Y and two Y. That's three Y. And then we're going to do nine minus six, which is nine minus three, which is six. I'm going to tell you what to write here because that was a big one. We kind of already did it. I'll just write the answer what we discussed. We discussed this answer. We discussed that F plus F is two F. We discussed that we're just going to attach the B, which is 1B. We attached, oh, no, not 1B. We said 5B, sorry, because it's 1B plus 4B is 5B. We discussed that we have 3R plus 2R, which is... Canela, you put two fives. Yeah, thank you. I fixed it. Thank you. We discussed 2R plus uh, 3R is 5R. We discussed 1Y. We discussed... 1y and 2, 1y and 2y is 3y. And then we discussed 9 minus 6. And 9 minus 3 is 6. Okay, let's look at the exponent. Who wants to try this one? Who thinks they got it? I think, Leilani, you can try it. I think you got this. What do we put when there's no coefficient, Leilani? What number? Oh, one. Good. So now put together the nine eight to the fives. How many nine eight to the fives do we have? Nine minus one. Nine minus one is eight. So not eight a to the fifth power. We just attach the exponent. Leilani, when you're ready, 
Let's do the next part. 16 minus 4 is how much? Mm. I heard it. I heard someone say something. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. 8a to the 5th plus 12. That was a little tricky, but we, went, we got through it together. We could do this. All right, we're going to move on now to page 4 in the next 10 seconds. Remember, you're submitting the work on the computer to me. This is all done on the computer because packets were not mailed home because we're going digital, as you already discovered that. Everything now is computer. You send the work each day to me via the computer. No more papers. Okay, so again, 1M or M are the same. When there's no coefficient, as Leilani was demonstrating and Lorenzo, and Lorenzo helped out, I think, in Omar, you put a 1 there. So 9 minus 8 is 1M or just M. We're just going to put together what's the same variable, and then whatever is the numbers, we add or subtract that. That's what we did. So far, so good. Let's move on now and try something else. Same concept, just at a harder level. We're going to move up now in the level. All right, who's reading the problem? Who's earning credit? I'm gonna call on somebody. Go ahead, Omar. Um, which two pair of e expression are equivalent? Hence, new new the distributive property to find the um equivalent expression. All right. So what I'm gonna do, Omar, is yesterday in the call, I used these boxes when we did the box method. You guys recall that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to divide this into four parts. I'm going to try my best to make this as equal as I can. It's a little bit hard. And, oh, that's a little unequal, but you get the idea. Okay? Sorry, it's a little messy. I'm trying my best, folks. All right. A. So letter A. We want to know b to the third plus 4 times 3b to the third and 14b. So when we get rid of the parentheses, does the left side equal the right? That is what that is asking. So I'm going to type this in because I can't really do exponents. Oh, um, if there's a b3, that means you have to put a 1. Yes. Good. So just be patient. This is going to take me a little bit of time. All right, I'm sorry. It looks this is not how I write, but on the computer... This is how it comes. Okay, so Omar says that we have to put a 1 in front. Now, we want to get rid of the parentheses, so we're going to multiply. 4 times 3 is how much, guys? 12. So we have 1b to the third. We're leaving that alone. Plus 12b to the third power. Now, is if I put this together, what's 1 plus 12? 13b. 13. 13. Okay, awesome. So now we got that part. That's what the left side equals. This says 14B. Are they the same thing? No. So we're going to write NO. Let's try B now. The same thing on B. We're going to use the box method on B. Okay. So then, oh, shoot. Undo that. Okay. Um, let's do, let's try this here, B. Okay, that I can type in the box. So we have, what do we have? Nine parentheses, 3M plus nine. Okay, yesterday we went over the box method, yes? You guys remember that? Yes. All right, so let's do that now. Oh. Go ahead, Omar. Walk us through it as I set it up. Yeah. The nine goes what what is like at the at there. And the three three M it goes where um where the first one and then then Yeah, I'm listening. I'm just trying to put in a different color so you don't get confused, yeah? And then the nine is go at the last one. Good. And then you have to multiply 9 times 3. It gives you 27M plus 9 times 9 
is 81. Now, looking at the orange, is this 27M plus 81 the same as what's on the right side of this problem? Yes. Purple and blue. Is this the same as that? Yes. So is that the answer? Yes. Okay. Let's just go over C and D. Well, we already know. We don't really have to do C and D. We already found the answer. Okay, because it's silly for me to go through C and D because you know obviously it's not going to be right, right? Mm -hmm. But you would just put 14 and 2 and you get 16. 16 is not the same as 10, right? Yeah. You crap. Easy, right? Yes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as they say? Yes. I was going to Huh? Hi. Hi. Lorenzo, you good? You with us? You wrote this down? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to write C and D because we already found the answer. So I'm not gonna, in school I would make you go through it all, but for time today I'm not gonna go through C and D because clearly you know what's wrong. Oh, cause it says with two pairs, but it have to be one. Correct, it has to be one of the answer choices. This is why reading is very important. That's why we gotta read and we gotta do the I ready. As we write this down, we're having a competition this week who can give me the most amount of time of I ready. I'll be shouting you out on Google Classroom and to Mr. Blau. I already have somebody on here that I think he did 40 minutes already today. Okay? I did 30 minutes yesterday. Good. You got to keep doing it. I'm going to announce the names on Thursday who did the most amount of time of I ready. Remember, 30 minutes a day. That's all I ask. All right. We're going to now erase it. So we all know that the answer was B as in boy. Pretty simple so far. All right, the next one's pretty straightforward. It should take like maybe two minutes, if that. Who's doing it for a participation point? Somebody I haven't heard from. Me. Okay, Lorenzo, read me problem. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Come on, Lorenzo. It's on my screen if you need help. Got a phone. Read louder. Which Lorenzo, when there's no coefficient, what number do we put in front? One. What? One. Excellent, Lorenzo Cruz. All right, Lorenzo. So one U is the same as one, right? What? One U is the same as U, right? Yes. Lorenzo. We gotta combine what's on the left. What's one U plus six U, Lorenzo? Mr. Cruz. Seven U. This plus this equal to. Seven U. Perfecto, Lorenzo. Now, Lorenzo, seven U. I'm gonna put this in another color. Hello. Yeah. Not the answer. Who's that? Is that Yadiel? Yeah. 7U plus what is equal to 18U? 11U. Right. 7 plus 11 is equal to 18U. C so as a cat. All right. We're going to pick C, which is 11U. Does everyone? It's not A. Why would it be A? It's not A. Right. Well, that's a common mistake. That's why I put that, part, that number there. Because what happens is, guys, when I was in your grade, which was a long time ago, because, yeah, I'm old. You're probably saying, yeah, right. Um, I made the same mistakes that you guys were making when we taught you this. So remember, the reason why it's not A is because there's not there's a U here, and you have to add your U. So if I was to write this out, it will be U plus 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 U is equal to something that has 18 U's. So the only, the only answer that makes the most logical sense would have to be 11. So we right away could have knocked off B and D because we know that 7 plus 35 is not 18. Common sense, right? Yeah. 7 plus 66 is not 18. So you would have been left with either choice A or choice C. And we pick C because there's variables attached to it. Okay, it has a U. Right. Got it? Yes. Get it good. All right. Kids, let's move on. All right, let's look at this one. This is just like the page we did before. 
Okay, this oh. one, we're gonna make some credit. We're gonna make some changes. Hold on one second, I just wanna fix Selena. All right, so I'm gonna make the changes in red right now. So everyone's gonna do it now with their pencil. So on number one, whether I write or whatever I do, just put what I put now so it's all done. We're gonna write a one in front. Number two is good, number three is good, number four is good, five good, six good, seven. We're gonna make a few changes. These are plus signs. Everyone go make the changes I make now. And that's it. Okay, so everyone, I made changes in red. Okay, mm -hmm. so in number one, you put a one in front. Number eight, you make these plus signs. All right, who's doing it? Because I'm tired now, who's up? Who's me. helping me out? Me. Okay, Lorenzo, number one, tell me what to write. Let's see if you understand what to do. Go, talk to us. Uh, Lorenzo, how many X's are there? One. I mean, two, two, sorry. There's two X's? Yeah. <laughs> I see eight X minus one X. Thank you. I know you can do this, Lorenzo. What's three Y minus two Y, Lorenzo? One Y. Excellent, there you go. Or we can say, okay, because an algebra can be seven X. Instead of writing the one, Lorenzo, we can just put the variable Y, it's the same thing. Those are equivalent. Okay, who's doing number two? Oh wait, hold on. Leilani. Leilani, all right, twin. Lonnie, let's see what you got. Let's see if you can do it. I think you can. Tell me whenever you're ready, Leilani. I'll wait for you. Okay. Can you pick her for the next one, too? Leilani can do it. I, I am pretty three, confident. Uh, three and plus seven and which gives you ten. Mm -hmm. and, and then you minus two, which gives you Seven and what? Ten minus two is oh, oh no no no. What am I talking about? Eight and okay, good. Now talk to me about the x's. Eight and right, and then you plus it. So plus, and then you're gonna put the one in front of the x. Right. And eight plus um one x equals nine x. Beautiful. Couldn't have asked her to be better. Okay, who's next? Um, Listen, this is how you get your class points. You want to try, Omar? Uh, okay. Talk to me about, let's start with ours. Oh, also we have to make this. Um, this actually should be a plus sign on number three. So it's actually going to be one R. I'll help you out on that one. Take it over from there. I did the R's for you. Yeah. One, one R. I mean two R minus five nine plus nine Y and three R plus nine. There's like um two R minus three R is one R. Mm -hmm. And, and then five plus one is negative what? Um, negative four. Good. Mm -hmm. And then there's only one nine. Good. Okay. Who's this over here? You want to go, Lorenzo, again? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear from. Um, yes, he does. He wants to go. He wants to go. <laughs> yeah, Nani has to go after me. Again. All right, hold on. Nazir, I want you to try number four. <laughs> Naz, number four. Talk to me. We got 12Y plus 5Y. How many Y's is that, Nas? Two. What? Two. 12 plus 4, 12 plus, 12 plus 5 is 2? How much is 12 plus 5? 17. Okay, good, keep going. Now we got negative 6 plus negative 3. It's actually going to be negative nine. Okay. 
Okay, these you have to think, guys. All right, let's try number five. Lorenzo, you're up. I'm gonna help you out. When we are adding or subtracting with integers, we keep the sign of the higher number and subtract. So not thir negative 13 plus four, the higher number is negative 13, so it's negative. And then 12 from, uh, 13 from four is how much, Lorenzo Cruz? Wait, can Somebody you help that him. Again? What is 13 minus four, Lorenzo? Nine. 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 Which one beat you? Wow. That's Come on, we're having a little competition here. I like, it. The I like it. All right, moving on. Here we go. Bye. Who's doing number six? Me? Not me. Leilani. So go ahead, Leilani. Leilani. <laughs> Leilani, look, I'll help you out. I'm going to circle with the same because this has a lot of different. Okay. So. so we're good. Seven. X and Y plus six. X, Y. Okay, so talk to me. How many X, Y's is that? Seven plus six. Thirteen X and Y. Okay, good. Is there an X to attach to that? Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna attach the other things so there's nothing there, right? There's no other, there's nothing that has another X by itself, correct? Yes. And there's nothing that has another Y by itself, correct? Yes. I made a mistake on my paper. So I'm just going to do that. Eight, seven, one more. Okay. So let's try number seven. Who wants to try this one? Who wants to be Darren? Lorenzo. Lorenzo. <laughs> no. They not to do the next one then. No, Lorenzo. <laughs> I miss you. Come on. Miss, I better get for this, please. You're going to get a good mark for participating today. Uh, Eric, you're going to be next. Eric, you do number eight. Eric, work on number eight while Lorenzo does number seven for us. Okay. Lorenzo, <laughs> we got negative 14 plus three. What's 14 minus three, Lorenzo, Lorenzo Cruz? 11. 11. Negative 11 R. Now what's negative 10 plus nine? You got negative $10 and you give me $9. How much money you got? One. How many ones, positive or negative? Negative. Good. See, that was easy. All right, Eric, take away. No, Leilani's next. No, Leilani's gonna do number nine. We're gonna have Eric do number oh, eight. No, can I do eight? I like it. I told Eric to do it though. You can okay. do number nine, okay? Do number nine on your paper. Eric, do number nine, number eight. Um, six R plus nine R is fifteen R. Minus two R is thirteen R. Minus thirteen and. So what do we have? Thirteen R minus thirteen N. Thirteen R minus thirteen N. Okay, easy. All right, Miss Cruz. You want to do number nine. So what number do we put in front of the coefficient? DMA, what number? A one. Thank you. A one. Okay, so I'm going to take that red, Jen, just so that you can see the difference, because there's a lot of stuff on this paper. You know me, I don't use red in school, really. All right, Leilani, talk to me. Do you want to talk to me about the ends? How many ends are there? There's only one end, so you keep the one end. Good girl, right? young lady. And then you plus that. And then one R plus four R is five R. Right, Plus that. And then you keep that one, no, you don't keep the one X. Um, one X minus three is two X. What kind of two X? Oh, negative two X. Oh my goodness, I am so impressed. Good job, kiddo. Yay. Excellent, Leilani. Leilani, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh, number 10, don't worry about number 10. You're going to put the word omit on number 10 just because we're starting to run out on time. Thank okay. you. Omit, and you could put JC. Those are my initials. I uh, know because you watch the class. If I say omit, it's only because I say it. Yes? All right, we're almost there. We have the two exit ticket questions. I'm going to put the exit ticket up, and then we're done. Oh, can I do the exit ticket one? What? Can I do the exit ticket one? Or... Well, if people don't participate, then yes. All right? Okay. I'm going to try to make it like fair and equal so everyone can have a chance. Okay. Adrian, you had a chance. Adrian, you're going to do the first question on the exit ticket. We're going to see if you can unmute. I'm not sure if you can unmute. Adrian, are you able to unmute and turn your volume up? No. Daniel Castillo, you're going to try it. Because you've been very quiet. I want to ensure you understand what to do here. All right. So again, if you need anything, you go back to the video and everything posted after ELA class. All right. Adrian, that's sad. I wanted to hear your pretty voice. Sad that I can't have you read it. But Daniel Castillo, you can read the first question on the exit ticket. Daniel Castillo, leer la pregunta número uno en el soleto de boleto, por favor. Which quality would go to like make the equation? Below, true. Okay, so let's do it. Help me out, Daniel. Right. Daniel, help me out. Two uh, M. I want to hear you read it. Huh? Read me the question. I did. Two M. One plus six M. Okay, so what can I do with the ends, Daniel? Add them up. Good. Let's do that. What's the new answer? 8, 8M. Good. So we have 8M plus what equals 18M. That's what the algorithm is. It 10 or 10M, Daniel? 10M. 10M. Okay. So we have 8M plus 10m, write this all down, equals 18m. So it's answer, what is it, G? Yes. Yes, G. But hey, that works, the answer's there, so it doesn't matter, right? Yes. Okay, easy. These are gonna be the exact questions I'm gonna put on Google Class. I'm gonna type up the question once we finish. There shouldn't be any problems, Miss. I don't know what to do, Mister. Whatever. Okay, I want you to try question two on your own. I'm going to give you. It should take you like a minute. Combine the like terms. S plus S plus eight S plus seventeen minus five. Go try that one. See what you can come up with. And I'm going to call on somebody to answer that. I'm not going to tell you who that's going to be. You got to have your cameras on though. Me. No, miss, it should be me. Me. Miss Wong, I mean, Miss Canela, it should be me. Okay, so then tell me what to do. There's something you gotta do here. <laughs> no, no, miss. It should be me. Hey, hey. All right, I like the competition, but come on. You put the one in the, in the S and then you put one again. And one plus one S is equal to two, two S and then add, I mean, Add that by 8s and you'll get 10s. Right, you already got, I already got it. And you'll get, then you plus that and you put 17 minus 5 gives you. Oh, 20, um, not 20, 12. And then that's it. Oh, yeah, I got that answer too. You got 12. Yeah. Good. Wait, what? Here you go. I still think it should be me who answered it, but okay. 
Mr. Lorenzo Cruz, you're going to owe me an exit ticket from yesterday. So if you didn't watch the video, because I missed you in class, you need to get it done. But I'm going to write up today's exit ticket. So those that did not do yesterday's exit ticket need to complete that now. Those that did just need to hang tight. and need about five minutes, if that, to do these two questions. So I'm going to hit the stop record now.